We talked about giving increases to, of course, the fire department as well as the sheriff department. And I think rightfully they deserve it. But so does those people that sweep the floors down in the municipal building, people that keep up the judicial center. You know, those are the people we need to look out for as well. So how do we do that? How do we do that and balance the budget without raising taxes? How do we do it without having some type of funding stream? Those are the key things that we have to deal with day in and day out. We don't want to sit on the big dollar budget. So that's a lot of money that we have to figure out how to balance it and work it out that we can keep the citizens happy, provide the level of service that they request, of course, provide a, a public safety department that is exceptional to none. And I can't argue with that. I mean, our fire chief has done an awesome job with the fire department. The sheriff is doing a great job with the sheriff department. So these are key things that people want to know. How do we do that and not raise property taxes? The school board. A lot of times we get blamed for the taxes that they increase. Susan McCord and I were talking about this earlier. We get blamed for it. People say, when they make the phone call to us, you raised our property taxes, and our property taxes next month, and I'm like, no, go back and look at your bill again. You will see it separated, and you will see the school board, you will see the county, you will see maintenance fees, and so forth and so on, garbage and all that. I say, those are things people need to understand. They're not paying. We are the third lowest, uh, we have the thir third lowest minutes rate in the state of Georgia. But yet we can simply be the second largest city in Georgia. What's wrong with that picture? These are things that we got to talk about. Okay? Now we came to a consensus then. I know uh, Commissioner Donnie Smith was here, uh, I think it was the last month he was here. A month before last, he talked about the excise tax. The excise tax is a bill, I think it's House Bill 386 that was passed last year, that it will actually do away with the excise tax on manufacturing businesses. Think about it now, we have about 9 to 11 of them here, and of course it's 4% that's been uh, alleviated, and we have an option as a city to impose whatever amount we want up to the 4%. Well, the only drawback to that is this. If we do that, then we put ourselves in a disadvantage to compete for manufacturing companies. So do we want to do that? I don't think so, because if we get more manufacturing companies in, we get more people into the city. We get more people buying property and more taxpayers when we build a tax digest. That's the ultimate goal is to build a tax digest so we don't have to raise property taxes. You'll find this hard to believe. We paid more taxes in 2008 than we, did, than we do today. In 2008, our tax ministry were higher than it is today. Gas is still high. Everything else is still high. We're still paying, you know, astronomical rates on everything else. My cable bill is 180 bucks a month. I'm just being realistic. Uh, yeah. And this is the kind of stuff that we need to talk about. You know, and 